Howdy guys, how's it going? So we're going to be looking at the Cooper Carbine Best Class setup. Just have got this bad boy gold and it has been an absolute pleasure running and gunning with this thing. But this is one of the first weapons that we have added the Vanguard. It's season one and in season one we got the Cooper Carbine and then we got a sniper rifle which is right here, the anti-tank rifle, which I've been playing around with quite a bit. But this is all about this carbine right here and getting right into the class setup. We're starting out on the muzzle with the Mercury Silencer. Okay, that right there, you don't have to rock a silencer. You can always take and throw in the compensator. But just the way that this thing maintains such phenomenal accuracy, uh, I just thought it's it's already it's more beneficial just to take and throw on a silencer as our muzzle attachment for the underbarrel. We got our Carver foregrip, and just to say up front, this thing probably looks like it has the ADS time of an elephant, but it's not that bad. For the barrel, we got the 22 inch Cooper Custom going down the magazine. We got the 45 round mags of the 30 carbine. Uh, caliber you know even going with the 60 round 9 millimeter drum this thing can melt pretty gosh darn fast so you, there's not really a wrong choice i would just you know recommend staying away from the smaller capacity magazines because there's really no point the reload time isn't that much better for the ammo type we got the lengthen because you know we got to have that beefed up bullet velocity for the optic got the slate reflector this is one that depending on like what camo challenges and stuff you're doing you can change up this thing has very nice iron sights as well so when it comes to the optic it's more personal preference i just like the slate reflector because it's a very you know there's there's hardly anything that obstructs your uh, your sight picture uh, for the rear grip, we got this stippled grip. I always want to say stippled grip tape, but it's just a stippled grip in this one. For the stock, the Cooper 45 RS is the way to go. For proficiency, we got vital increase the size of critical hit area. Helps get them kills go down that much faster. And then finally, we got fully loaded because, you know, you want to end up burning through the bullets pretty quick. So it's better to have that in your back pocket. But, you know, if you're playing search or something, that might not be as important. So feel free to choose any of these that you would like. But this thing right here got it gold really quickly. Uh, I was playing around with other weapons and stuff, and then I done like a little overnight uh, camping trip, which will be up on the H. Well, I, I wasn't a camping trip. It was like I was staying in a tent that I had to retire because it was just finally dick today i thought it was like 10 years old but anyways that'll be on the hq channel but that is the class setup we got for this ar so let's take and hop into a match and see what we can do with it all right we got team death match on shipment so this thing right here is going to be going down pretty fast but as you can see despite the fact we have that barrel we have the magazine that we do the ads time is still a very a very nice with this thing it's great at close range but like in comparison to how this thing is default um, or, you know, just like with the standard ammunition and everything that it comes with, you can definitely reach out and shut people down at a distance, which, you know, like going off the uh, description of this AR is not like its intended purpose. Um, but that's why I like this setup is because, you know, you don't really have to worry about range that much because it's very accurate. It hits hard and it's actually just it's really fun to use you know most of the time whenever they add weapons into the game that right there is a bomb whenever they add weapons into the game it's normally they're on the op side uh and i think that's kind of intentionally done but it's not like it's not crazy amazingly good um i gotta take and update my war zone but i feel like this gun right here is going to slap very hard in a good way in war zone and i look forward to playing on uh, the new map and everything once uh once i get that done i just wanted to try you know focus up try to get these guns leveled up uh here at the start of season one and uh you know just go ahead and get a class set up out for them there's the latency spikes that i know and hate Okay, I'm about to get, I seen it, I seen an arm come up, and I didn't see a blue name tag, so, look at that, where are we at, where is these people at, bro, this is shipment, I'm supposed to be running into somebody's face every two seconds, okay, it's not, uh, it's not going that way, though, my teammates just seem to be stealing all the thunder for me here, okay, boom, there's that, give me a nice little two-piece, and this is where having that extended magazine comes in, so we ain't got to take and reload every two seconds, but it's good to top things off, you feel me, oh, Tag him up. Grenade, do your duties. Boom. There's that. Well, we at? Nine and three. We got to take and make sure we get at least a nice 3.0 KD. I'd like to get some score streaks popping up in here for me. Okay, I can't. I don't know what I'm shooting at. But there it is. And we got our little blast off thing. Oh, our mortar strike. God dang, I don't know why. I blast off. This is what I get. My, this is what I get for 
play in whenever I'm tired as all beans. Okay, I don't want to be that guy that camps in one corner of shipment, but like right now, the way that spawns are coming down, okay, you know what, I'm glad I died. I deserve to die. 17 and 4. Let's get this right here out in the open. Get them packages on the ground, even if the enemy team steals them. Oh, it's rare that, you know, you get anything crazy good. Okay, we're just we're going to put that rocket launcher away. And I pull the trigger, and bullets does not come out of my barrel. Okay, and now they got a mortar strike too. 61 to 62. How are we losing this here, that bad boys? Oh, oh, oh. Are we spawning in here now? Yep. Look at that. Gotta love it. I'm pretty sure that was an enemy uh, thermite grenade, but, you know, I'm going to take what I can get as far as luck goes. Somebody else going to spawn on top of me right here? Um, is that ammo? Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. I just wanted to get another mortar strike. We'll take and back it up. I just realized that I didn't get a single one of my care package do jigs, so I don't know if the enemy got them or if my teammates got them. I think there's still one out there. They're, oh, yeah, that one's way too far out. I don't think I'll be able to reach it. That's the only downside to using, oh, to using those on these small maps is they often don't make it, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's an invent, like, invisible wall before I can even get close to where that one is. Bop, bop, bop. Go ahead and get that. Gotta love it. So, yeah, uh, the new anti-tank rifle, though, also, I just took and got iron sights on it, and it is amazing like that thing i was popping off every single round that leaves the barrel of that thing ends up being a one-shot kill as it should be because it's a flipping anti-tank rifle uh but uh i'm gonna take and work on it next like i'm kind of doing it in reverse order like you know normally you take and you try to work on all the default uh guns that come out with the launch of the game but since there's probably going to be a lot of interest around the newly added uh, guns, such as this one and the anti-tank rifle, I want to go ahead and, and get them out of the way, get them nice and golded out. And, you know, then for you guys that are, you know, just chomping at the bits to use them in-game, especially, I mean, that anti-tank rifle is going to slap in, uh, in Warzone for sure. You know, it, people haven't figured that out already. But, yeah, guys, there you go. That is the Cooper Carbine Best Class Setup. Very, very fun AR to use. You can use it on practically any size map, even going out into the longer ranges, especially if you throw on an optic with some magnification to it. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if I already share your friends. Check the link in the description of my other channel. Sub to those as well. About to be doing quite a bit of camping uh, on the HQ channel, and muzzleloading season opened up yesterday up until January the 1st. So more hunting, more uh, camping, and more outdoor activities to come as I mix it in with the gaming content. So until the next one, boys, adios.